coolest custom drift trike within a thousand miles and this week we're driving it home, putting it to the test and learning how to use heavy machinery. Wait, Ed, you've You're never driven an excavator? <laughs> How's it going? What up, man? Hey, what's up, man? The whole crew. <laughs> How you yeah, doing? We're all here. <laughs> we uh, picked up that monstrosity yeah. yesterday. <laughs> so sick. a lot of work to finish it, but it will be fun. Yeah. Blue yeah. steering, blue tube dry line, blue tube brakes. <laughs> <laughs> you said it, it was inspired by watching us build stuff. Yeah. That's yeah, awesome. You guys have started the rotor. Yeah, the rotor. Yeah. 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 Unfortunately, our microphone died at just the worst time, but this is Robert and his homemade Honda Shadow Drift Trike. We saw this thing listed on Marketplace and we had to have it because it's a great starting place for our next build and it's cool and works in the meantime, so we'll have a lot of fun with it until we inevitably turn it into something else. hands on the outside of the tires and then I then I stretched out to the width of the bed and I, it feels wider I think it'll fit the state of the inside of this limo after just one day <laughs> I like it it's premium I think of it kind of like a bear cave you like crawl in here and you have like all your stuff yeah, it's, it's yeah. like a den. It's like a den. Yeah, this it's is nice. kind of how a bear would set up his house. Yeah, I think yeah. so. Like Yogi, yeah. Smokey, Winnie the Pooh, yeah. Kung yeah. Fu Panda. Yeah. How many bears are there? Lots of bears. There's Brother Bear and Mother Bear. What's their house look like? No, that pretty movie's clean. pretty realistic. They just live in like the forest. Just stopped on the side of the road for a thumbnail, and I noticed Will had something in his back no, pocket. No, I don't. How did you know that? Oh, How did you see that? thinks of the drive so far. <laughs> well, we made it back. We got both of the new projects all the way back from Washington. I'll show you the current state of the Mini Cooper while we tell you about AC Delco spark plugs and a premium deal from O'Reilly Auto Parts. AC Delco offers a full line of GM original equipment and premium aftermarket spark plugs. In the interest of getting this thing running, we should probably put some new plugs in it because at the moment, I've got it to crank. So that's a good, good first step. And when you buy AC Delco spark plugs, you're getting more than a century's worth of experience and know-how, including advanced features and competitive limited warranty coverage. You think, uh, you think this is still under warranty? Call up Jeep. You can find AC Delco spark plugs at your local O'Reilly Auto Parts. If you purchase AC Delco Iridium plugs, you get a $12 O'Reilly gift card. Plus, you get three times O rewards points. Getting the right spark plugs for your engine is extremely important. So head over to O'Reilly Auto Parts, get yourself some AC Delco plugs. And uh, now that we're back home, let's take this drift trike for a proper rip. See what it can do.
This thing is so much fun. I think this is probably the one of the best like things that we've just bought and can use. Oh, absolutely. On the internet. Like it's really well built and, and it, it just looks so right. And I'm taller than you guys, so I'm probably gonna have the most comfortable experience. For sure. I love this thing. The only reason I stopped is because my leg's about to light on fire. Yeah, and it is a little bit uncomfortable, but... <laughs> also, at full rock lock to the right, you bash your hand right into this. It feels as cool as it looks. It does. It does, you just feel cool riding it. Yeah, you feel like a chopper boy. Oh yep. yeah. See, this is brake, right? Front brake. Yep. Clutch. Mm -hmm. Rear brake is here. Rear brake is there. Yep. It's you have to really stomp on the rear brake. Oh, okay. <laughs> he's really giving it the beans. I'm yeah. impressed. I, I kind of thought he was just gonna cruise around, but he's no, he's, he's, he's drifting. I think he's in love. Yeah. yeah. He has been talking about buying a chopper like every day for the last for, like six couple months. months. I yeah. This coil here uh, was not grounded at all. Oh. So we're running on one cylinder mostly. It's about to get a lot faster. The chain had a tensioner on the top and the bottom and the one on the top um, is no more. It doesn't need one on the top. The only reason it was there, I believe, is to stop the chain from slapping on this bar here. I've just made a slightly bigger sleeve for it here out of some plastic on the wave. I'm gonna press that onto the sleeve that is already there, and that way it'll add a little more tension to it from the bottom side, so it's about the right tension. So I put some rib nuts in here for the seat bolts, and then I put one in there because I'm an idiot. But what I have here is a piece of plastic that's super slippery, and I'm just gonna bolt that onto there and that way uh, I also kind of pried this bar up a little bit so it has a little more clearance but that way when the chain slaps against it it's slapping against plastic instead of metal so it's not as not as annoying of a noise a singular 138 jet nice the Dream Camper, for comparison, is a 750 twin, so pretty similar size. Well, I guess it's an 850 now. And it has two 190 jets in it. It has dual carbs. Oh. <clears throat> and they're the same dumb kind of carburetor where they have the vacuum slide thing. Well, you know what? We'll make a big jump to 150. That's like a medium jump. And we'll see how it does. Will, are, oh. we, are we still on that challenge, Will? Because I, I very much saw where that phone was located. Oh. Not the very regular idle, though. You just do a rear mount turbo, like mount, like where instead of a muffler, just mount a turbo right there, and then have an intake pipe that just snakes up in through here. I think that's the answer. After a two-year wait, Ethan finally got the steel he needed to build his dream garage. And the contractor brought his excavator over, which means we are about to have a lot of fun. Chris left the keys in the excavator. Drag this around a cone or something first <laughs> before an expensive machine. Yeah. Oh, I'll drift around the K truck a little bit. There you go. If I crush the K truck, it's already been crushed. Yeah, and it won't kill you either. <laughs> this might. Hey, yo. <laughs> that I can go around the escalator. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, you'll be fine. Yeah. Some of my best stunts I've done on the show. That was good. That was sick. I'll spin around while you're donating around me. Okay. I'll try to reach up and touch it. This is premium fun. Ethan finally got all the stuff for the new garage. It's actually happening. That's how we have this excavator here, breaking ground on the foundation. And we're gonna tune this bad girl up and give it all the beans. Wait, Ed, Ed you've never driven an excavator? Here. No, I've, I did a lot of backhoeing when I was a kid. That's, but it's very similar, <laughs> just different controls. Yeah, I think the last time I drove a backhoe was probably like 11. Oh. So this is the bucket. Yeah, uh, that's, we'll yeah, that's the blade. All right, well, be prepared to run down. for your life from that yeah, home. Start my lifting the blade up. Oh. It probably won't work with this one. From what? From the bucket. Oh, no. Might as well. All right. I'm scared. Yep. Hey, well, you see this nice, soft seat that you could fly from. Yeah, these will give you massages. Oh, I've goodness. actually done that before uh, on accident, yeah. Ugh. did a pretty good job building this thing. It's a premium machine, grind hard approved. In the coming videos and months, you'll see a whole bunch of progress on the new shop now that we started that. At some point, we'll get this thing street legal and do some other upgrades to it, make it a little better. And coming very soon, hopefully, we'll get that green beast running. 
and driving. It looks awesome with the ladders next to it. Oh yeah, it really shows you how tall it is. <laughs> I have to be on a ladder to get into it and you have to be on a ladder to film it.